Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears. We've got a small sports update and important senior news. I'm Cece Abbey. And I'm Olivia Black. Today is Thursday, October 12th, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Earlier this week was Indigenous Peoples Day. Former JBHS Indigenous Cultures Club President Amethyst Vasquez redesigned the Native American display case on the first floor of Building 1 and will be holding an unveiling ceremony on Friday. Come by between 345 and 445 to check out the new display highlighting Indigenous people and their culture and history. In other on-campus news, the textbook room will be closed from October 18th to the 26th. If you need a textbook or novel, pick it up by October 17th. You will not be able to check out class novels until the 28th. If you have an outstanding novel or textbook, please return it ASAP. Though the textbook room will be closed, the library will remain open. If you're submitting an entry for PTSA Reflections Contest, please bring it to Ms. Grenet before tomorrow at 4 p.m. We've got teams in action today, including girls volleyball at home against Burbank. Let's send it over to Brandon for a fall sports update as their sports wind down. Good morning, Bears. This is Brandon here with your Thursday sports update. Starting off, girls volleyball will be playing against Burbank in their last game of the season in the gym today. JV and Frosh are at 445, while Varsity are at 6. Also today, Varsity football is playing at Arcadia at 7. Meanwhile, Cross Country is also at Arcadia today. Their first race is at 3. Moving over to girls tennis, Varsity will be playing CV in Pasadena, while JV will be playing at Providence. Finally today, Boys Water Polo will be hosting a game against Muir today at 345 and 445. Good luck to all of our Bears competing in league this week. Now back to you. Thanks, Brandon. Now we've got some important senior news. If you ordered a senior graduation item from Jostens, it will be available for pickup today in the quad during lunch. This does not include cap and gowns. A rep from LABC will also be on campus today during lunch answering questions about community college. Head to the quad for more information. Today is the last day for senior meetings. This mandatory meeting will take place during AE in the library. The JBHS counselors will be presenting on important information for financial aid and the college application process. You will receive a call slip instructing you to go to the library for the meeting. If you are regularly assigned to the library for AE, head to the lower auditorium. That's not the only college presentation taking place today. Here's a message from our College for Mentors on more. What's up, Bears? I got two announcements for you. Number one, today during AE, there will be a presentation about how to fill out your Common Apps. It's really important and I think you should go. Announcement number two, Tuesday, October 17th, during AE in room 1207, we're gonna have a rep from UCLA who will be there to answer questions about how to do the UC apps and what UCLA is like. See you there. Seniors aren't the only grade with events today. Link Crew will be holding a musical-themed scavenger hunt for freshmen at lunch today in Miss Nava's room, 2208. There will be fun prizes for the winning team, and no one will leave empty-handed. Come by and test your music knowledge, freshmen. Finally, in club news, JSA will be meeting today in room 2225. Remember, don't hate, debate. Fashion Club also meets today in room 2113. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow for our last show of the week as we recap the current situation in Israel and more. 
I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Cece Abbey. Have a great day, Bears.